I'm Haitha Matar, the Chief Executive Officer of the Ras Al Khaimah Tourism Development Authority. Well, good afternoon, and thank you for taking a moment to speak to Break Travel News today. We're here at ITB Berlin, uh, the world's largest travel trade show. How important is it for you and your colleagues from Ras Al Khaimah to be here um, representing the destination? Um, as we know, ITB is uh, you know one of the largest uh, trade shows around the world with over 10,000 exhibitors, uh, and it uh, really is a great uh, platform uh, for us to meet and engage with the, some of the key tour operators and travel agents, uh, not only in Europe, but in some cases across the globe, who make their way to this uh, particular show. Year on year, we've seen Russell Hema's uh, presence uh, 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 extend uh, in terms of space of stand and also in terms of participants on the stand. So we have more hotels joining us. We have more uh, DMCs joining us on, on, uh, on this trip to Berlin. Uh, we also have had a fantastic uh, first day, and as you see today, uh, the stand has been extremely busy with back-to-back -back appointments. Uh, and also, this really is well-timed when it comes to the seasonality mm -hmm. of bookings from Europe to our part of the world. Uh, so the you know the contracting season, the negotiations, and a lot of that happens here. Very different than many of the other shows we attend to. Very interesting, very interesting. Um, I understand a couple of the next uh, major events on the hospitality calendar are actually taking place in Ras Al Khaimah. You've got the Arabian Hotel Investment Conference and the World Travel Awards coming up. How important are those going to be for the destination? Well, first of all, we're really delighted and honored that we were selected for AHIC um, uh, this year after you know 13 successful years of AHIC in Dubai. Uh, we are really aiming high to uh, certainly uh, bring uh, something completely new to AHIC and something really different than the, what offerings they've had in past years. We're looking at offering great experiences for not just the investors but also the operators who are going to be attending uh, this fantastic event. We've seen already around 750 interested uh, registered delegates to uh, uh, Ras Al Khaimah's AHIC. Uh, it's very important to us, uh, AHIC, in the sense uh, that, as you know, Ras Al Khaimah is an up-and-coming destination. We have about 5,500 rooms uh, of different categories that are now in operation. However, with our ambitious growth strategy of 1 million visitors by the end of 2018 and 3 million visitors by 2025, we're going to need a substantial amount of rooms to come into the pipeline. So we currently have about 5,500 rooms in the pipeline between now and 2021, and that is going to attract different brands, uh, new brands, new concepts, and new styles of hospitality to come to, to Ras Al Khaimah as a, as a, you know, a new uh, destination. So uh, we have uh, the likes of, of course, the Marriott, you have the Millennium, you have also the uh, Intercontinental, the Anantara, the Sheraton with its four points flag, uh, Park Inn uh, by Residor, and many more of these fantastic brands that are going to make, you know, home, make Ras Al Khaimah their home uh, uh, fairly uh, shortly. But also it allows us to showcase to the investors you know, the, the investment opportunities that Ras Al Khaimah has to offer in terms of uh, flexibility of payments, in terms of joint venture opportunities between the government of Ras Al Khaimah and uh, potential investors, uh, and also the sort of uh, price point that is offered on land for uh, beachfront properties that is absolutely fantastic and affordable. You're giving guests or visitors a lot more to do as well. Uh, releasing the news today that you're going to expand the fantastically popular zip line. Mm -hmm. um, the Guinness Book of Records recognized that as the longest in the world. So that's, sure. a, that's a great attraction for you guys. Absolutely. And look, so part of our mandate as the Tourism Development Authority is to develop the tourism infrastructure and attractions. Um, and we've been uh, quite successful in first launching the Via Ferrata, which was the first commercial Via Ferrata. It's a climbing ground with three different stages and three zip lines. Uh, it's, been, it's been very successful. It is the next best thing to nature and we've seen a great uptake for that. That really inspired us to do a little bit more and go further, especially with the zip lines and hence the uh, longest zip line in the world project which was uh, opened last month. And we've seen a fantastic uptake from that, not just by the you know the the media and and the word of mouth and the viral uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, announcements of this fantastic uh, product. However, we've seen great number of people already come to uh, to experience the zip line. So far, we're over uh, 1,850 people who have done the zip line since the opening uh, around uh, January 29th. <coughs> Final question, you're working towards your ambitious Destination 2019 strategy. Um, what steps are you taking there to increase the business numbers at the moment? So, uh, a number of co-marketing uh, activities 
partnerships with airlines, partnerships with charter operators, also uh, not only on the B2B front, but also on the B2C front where we've gone on dynamic marketing activities and some of the key source markets and also the potential new markets. We've entered new markets with uh, key partners like Emirates Airlines, such as Croatia. Uh, we've entered Poland, we've entered the Czech Republic, and we've seen a fantastic and phenomenal uptake and year-on-year -year growth. So, um, they also, repositioning the destination to remove, to remove that misconception about it only being a destination that has a great beach and beach resort offering uh, to a destination that has this plus you know great uh, nature and uh, be beautiful scenery uh, adventure opportunities mountain biking hiking the zip line we talked about um, also camping uh, stargazing and and a lot more you know that uh, the destination has to offer the, whether it's in the sea, whether it's in the desert, or whether it's in the mountains, plus that authentic uh, Arabian uh, culture that has been preserved for many years in Ras al-Khaimah, and the, the sense of Arabia, accessible Arabia, when you first arrive into Ras al-Khaimah is, is still felt when you, when you uh, drive into the Emirate. So this has been really helpful in us driving the strategy, in us driving our growth, by making the destination more and more attractive and appealing to the different types of markets. Okay, it's a very interesting point. So I look forward to seeing you next month for uh, AHIC in uh, Russell Kamer. Oh, fantastic. We look forward to it. Thank you. Great, thank you.